All right, you can see we had another partly cloudy day, but I got a little bit cleaner data yesterday. And uh, in the graph here, on this is the graph from the watts up meter showing my 80 watt panel and how it came out on uh, through the grid tie <coughs> from our sunrise. You can see it rising up. It's going to peak and level out about 60 watts on an 80 watt panel and then start to come down down to the sunset. Now I have this uh, criteria that I've kind of been developing where I set a line at about half of the rated power of the panel which if this panel is 80 watts then the line should be at 40 and then I can measure how many hours that the panel is producing more than 50 percent of its rated power. And turns out in this case it's 5.75 hours. Now I think that this won't change through the course of the year. This is basically a function of the angle of the sun uh, hitting the fixed panel, which in this case measures out to 86.25 degrees. So for sake of discussion, let's say it's 90 degrees. That means uh, from 45 degrees uh, east or 45 degrees west of where the panel is pointing is really where it's going to get 50% more of its power out of it. Now if I overlay the uh, <coughs> my other panel which is the uh, solar tracker on here you can see that it's got the same time uh, scale. It was able to start to develop uh, generate power earlier. It got going about another uh, hour before the fixed panels and that's partially due to the fact that fixed panels are a little bit west of south, about 25 degrees west of south. But the solar tracker was able to get up to full power uh, quite quickly and stay up there through the course of the day and then was, since it's still tracking the sun was able to start to uh, do better than the fixed panel later in the day. If I look at it just on its uh, <coughs> from a, a line standpoint, you can see that we got our 50% power, which in this case it's a 120 watt panel, so above 60 watts. It got that at uh, for 7.75 hours, which is two hours longer than I would get with the with the fixed panel. Now I ran this data uh, into a spreadsheet. And uh, since we had a little bit of a normal day yesterday, uh, it turns out that the solar tracker did 42.2% more uh, watts if I nominalized the tracker power to a maximum of 60 instead of what it really did. So that's probably getting a little closer to what would be normal. and. Uh, We'll leave it at that. Talk to you later.